Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the Albany Lurcher, which was released around Halloween time this year. Uh, but it's not brand new because it was released previous years ago. I think it was 2016, but it was taken away after Halloween because it was a limited time vehicle. But now it's back and I'm pretty darn sure that Rockstar's keeping it in the game. So it's not going to go anywhere um, anytime soon so if you haven't got the type of money to purchase it right now you can save up and I think uh, I think you'll be safe to be able to purchase it in a couple of couple of weeks time maybe if you want to purchase this vehicle it's going to set you back six hundred and fifty thousand dollars which isn't too bad I suppose the type of vehicle it is it you know it is quite expensive because it, it's a fucking um, hearse at the end of the day so it's not, <laughs> it's not going to be um, set in the world alike with his um, uh, performance but you know, it's very um, unique, shall we say. But anyway, uh, as you can see, you get, do get two types of livery. We've got the Ripper, which is on display at the moment. We'll look at these in a little bit more detail inside of LS Customs. Uh, and you've also got the Hangman's Grave. So they're both pretty cool. I'm going to quickly just purchase it with the Ripper on. Like I said, we'll look at them more in depth inside of LS Customs. But it's going to cost you $650,000. Let's get it purchased. Let's get into the S Customs and see sort of customizations we can do to this bad boy. So we go, ladies and gentlemen. As you pull into S Customs, you'll see the Albany Lurcher is in the muscle category. And I'm not sure why it's in the muscle category, but that's where it is. But anyway, guys, we're going to crack on. 100% body armor, as always, to start. And then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper. We've got the front bumper. Uh, the stock one is pretty cool. And then we move on to the custom chin spoiler, uh, which, I don't know, is that better? It kind of halves the chrome. That does look quite nice, I suppose. But I think the stock one looks better. So I'm going to stay stock. For the rear bumper, we've got the wheelie bar. And this fucking thing is definitely not going to go quick enough to um, warrant a wheelie bar. So we're going to stay away from that. Next, we've got the engine. Obviously, you want to grab a level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhaust. We've got the chrome tip the straight pipe and the side exit um, I'm not a massive fan of the side exit exhaust especially that design of it so I don't think I'm going to go with that then we've got the straight pipe and the chrome tip me personally I think the chrome tip looks the best so that's what we're going to go with we're going to skip past the explosives then we've got the grill we've got the, uh, the stock grill sorry and then the custom grill which does, yeah, it makes it, it chromes out a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, it does a little bit. But that stock wheel, I don't know. For the sake of customization, we're going to go with the cr custom chrome grill there. Uh, then we've got the hood with a cowl induction. That looks fucking mean. And then we've got the vented hood. And then we've got the uh, big boys as well. The big boys, big blocks. <laughs> the big boy, big blocks. Um, don't think they look overly good because they don't really stick out of the hood all that much. So we're going to, you know, we're not going to grab a big block. But this uh, vented hood, I like that. I like the vented hood. So yeah, I'm going to go with a vented hood. Then we've got the interior, the same as uh, the the Albany Frankenstange. Uh, the interior is just an ornament, and all these ornaments you can get in Benny's. None of them are, you know world-class spectacular items for this vehicle uh, they're just fucking basically little ornaments to go on your dashboard so uh, yeah that's that's that I mean you know, we'll get the vampire why the hell not so um, you know if that's like that your sort of thing go for it but <laughs> I don't think it's overly impressive so um, yeah but anyway we're going to move on to the lights we're going to get the Xeon headlights for the neon kit I am going to get a neon kit for this bad boy I'm going to go from back and sides neon color now for the color I'm hmm, I'm thinking red yeah let's go red <laughs> let's go red it looks uh, red <laughs> <laughs> that looks very red. Uh, fuck it, man. Why the hell not? Um, next, we've got the liveries. I did show you briefly what the liveries look like inside of Southern San Andreas, but we'll have a little quick look at the, the Ripper. Can't even spin around to the back of the car, man. What the fuck? So this one looks like we've run over some demons. <laughs> we've got the blood spat on the hood, and then we've got this weird fucking teeth livery on the side. Um, not a massive fan of it. Uh, this one, on the other hand, the Hangman's Grave, actually looks pretty impressive 
I think that looks um, ten times better than the Ripper, and um, I think it's actually quite a cool livery. So I'm going to grab that one. So then we've got the respray. Uh, we've only got one. We haven't got a secondary color. We're going to go classic, and it's already black. What happens if we change it metallic black? That's quite nice, man. It puts a little bit of a shine to it. So yeah, we're going to go metallic black for the primary color. So next we've got the suspension, same as with the Frankenstein's, I don't think you're going to be using this vehicle for races purely because the muscle category has um, got plenty better vehicles to be using for races. So uh, the only reason you'll purchase this vehicle is because of the uniqueness of it. So the, the lowered suspension is only going to be purely cosmetic and I think it looks amazing lowered. So I'm going to go competition suspension, transmission, I'm going to get the race transmission and the turbo tuning. So for the wheels guys, I am feeling something old school and because of that I'm going to go with these old school rims and they look fucking amazing. Uh, because of the stock, I think chrome would look a bit too blingy, but I am going to keep it alloy because I think they look sweet. What's weird guys, we're going to go into the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres uh, for the tyre design. Mm, not a massive fan of it, so I'm going to leave that off. And to finish off this build as always, you're going to go into windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So you go my bros, there is my build on the Albany Lurcher and I think that looks fucking sweet man. I'm not sure about the red underglow now I've got it, but because I've got it I'm just going to leave it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave it how it is. So uh, yeah, I, th I think if I went back I'd probably remove the red underglow because I don't think that looks that great. Um, but it's there now, I'm going to leave it there, there's no point in fucking going back and changing it. It looks cool. So uh, yeah, let's get onto the streets and see what it looks like on the streets of LS. And as you can see, I have finally created a build and came out at daylight, which is um, an achievement. <laughs> it's definitely an achievement. And uh, now, in terms of looks compared to the Albany Frankenstein and the LCC Sanctus, which is I'm going to compare it to those two because they're the two other Halloween vehicles. Um, I don't think this is that great I don't think this is as good as them other two I think the Sanctus is amazing for a motorcycle and the Frankenstein is actually quite good looking I think it looks very hot roddy I think it looks really really cool whereas this I don't know I just don't I think the original um, Hurst looks better you know the one that you can you've always been able to get in GT I think that actually looks nicer than this Lurcher uh, the only good thing about this obviously is because you get a pretty cool livery that goes on top and also you get little Frankenstein in the back look and when you move his hand moves too so he, he's um, dynamic, he moves with the car which I think is a nice little touch, nice attention to detail there from Rockstar um, but this car doesn't set the world alight in any means you know in no way shape or form is this impressive is it worth $650,000? I don't think so. I'd rather set, spend the money on the cheaper $550,000 Frankenstein. I think that looks a lot nicer. It seems a lot more powerful, a lot quicker, and uh, a lot more unique. This is um, £100,000, £100, £100,000 more expensive than that. And uh, you don't get half as many customizations. It doesn't look half as nice, and it's not half as powerful. Um, the only good thing about this vehicle is delivery. Other than that, I'm not blown away by it at all. I don't think it's that great. I think it's quite ugly. It's slow. Um, the handling is pretty shoddy. So, uh, in my opinion, I'd stay away from this one. Definitely buy the Sanctus and the Frankenstein. They're fucking two amazing Halloween vehicles. Um, both look awesome too. This one, on the other hand, not so much. So, that is going to be my take on the uh, Albany Lurcher. Not great. Don't waste your money on it. So, that is going to be the end of the video. There we go. That is my review on the Albany Lurcher. Don't buy it. You know, I'd stay away from it. Save your money. So, that, like I said, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, smash a motherfucking like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.